Welcome to Four Speed Ahead. I'm Craig Fuller here with Eli Solar, the president of Truckered In. How are you? How are you doing today? Good to I'm meet great. You. Now, freight, a lot of freight is moving in and out of Miami. You guys yes. developed a solution to really help drivers navigate uh, warehouse locations. I'd love to hear what Truckered In is. Yes, Trucker Den is the new way for drivers to check in at the warehouse. They just download an app, it's pretty self-explanatory. They just create the account, so they're gonna put the truck, tractor, trailer number with a plate, a picture of the ID, and they're good to go. You click the bottom sign, as soon as they click, they're already in the warehouse system. Of course, the warehouse has to be using Trucker Den. It's free for the warehouse, he creates the account, so it's geofencing technology. As soon as he checks in, pops up on the screen, every needed info for the warehouse, which is check-in, tractor, trailer number, your phone number, ID, everything is there, so you're just waiting for the door. The only way to check in without getting off the truck. This is pure for drivers. And brokers and carriers, the benefit is that it's Contactless for the drivers and the warehouse with the COVID-19 is an awesome solution, but mostly the efficiency and the, uh, you don't have to be calling the carrier anymore to ask if your driver got a door or not, because the broker and the carrier, we have, we have push notifications on the phone. So pretty much everything will come to their phone too. The driver's at door, the driver's at door, the driver checked in, the driver checked out, bill of lady. And now you don't have to call the carrier and say, can you send me the bill of lady to see if you actually loaded the product I asked you for, they put the PO that I requested, you have it in the system. So that is the solution. Contactless, efficient, and then check out less. Try to work more. If you take the real check-in process right now everywhere in the United States, you go, you have to ring that bell at the gate, walk to a parking lot, and then walk a half of a block, shipping or receiving office to do the same thing, to give your phone number, your truck, your tractor, your trailer. If you take 20 minutes, because there is a line of truckers in front of you, and now with the COVID-19, I am guess they're gonna be outside with the snow. So they're gonna be outside waiting for that check-in process to go in. If you're a warehouse that you should usually bring the product back from the warehouse when the driver is actually checked in, add those 20 minutes an hour to the shipment, bring it to the dock or the door so the driver can park the lot. That's our solution, expedite the check-in process. That's it, contactless and, and efficient. So Eli, you built this to really help, you, you come from a trucking, uh, you have a trucking operation that you guys built this to, to really enhance your driver's life. When did you get the idea to start a business dedicated to offering drivers a check-in product? We were trying to find a solution. Sometimes there's barrier communications. Sometimes it's drivers come in two, three, four times to the shipping office to ask, hey, uh, is my door ready? Is my paperwork ready? I'm sorry, what door do you say that you sent me? Okay, so uh, most of the time that, that issues back and forth, the dispatcher instead of being, our dispatch instead of being trying to get a good freight from the low board, they just try to translate to the drivers or explain what the shipping or receiving ori orientations are. So we say, I need a solution, we need something. Is there any way that we can go in and check in without going to that office? And then I was thinking the other day uh, in a hotel, there are hotels that you have an app and you check in without passing through the lobby. You go straight to the door. Isn't that awesome? So I'm a driver. I would love to just get into the place. There is a big sign saying, waiting, checking lot. You stay right there, park. Click the bottom of your uh, trucker then check in, and that's it. Every notification, when your door is ready, when the product is ready, when the bill lady is ready to sign, is there at your phone. So instead of walking or the warehouse calling you, we have a warehouse up there that also have a buzzing thing that they give you the driver. When it buzz, you have to go back to pick up the paperwork. That's obsolete. That's back in the day. Everything is automated now. We need to use apps for our benefits. Why drivers not? So Eli, you've got this business that uh, in a COVID world helps mitigate spread of 
you know, the, the virus, but also makes driver's life more efficient. It also what? helps the warehouse operation. Tell me how the process, so I download this app. Does the yep. warehouse that I'm checking in at have to have the trucker in solution uh, to be able to support it? Has to be signed up. It's free for the warehouse. He, cre he signs up and that creates a geofencing technology. Now every app interacts with the warehouse. A Got quarter it. of a mile, a quarter of a mile from the warehouse, the driver can check in. After he clicks check in, actually the warehouse, after he let him in, tracking throughout the shipment process and on transit is given to the broker, the carrier, or anybody that is allowed to check in with him. So I create my brokerage account um, and I just search for the pickup number that this pretending driver uses. After that, all push notifications that that driver sees, get to the door number seven, uh, come to pick up the little lady, time and day that he get out the warehouse. So no more check -offs. You are at the end, there brokerage company that pay personnel to all do check -offs. Like, hey, what time do your truck check in? What time do your truck got a door? Asking for detention or layover. All that, it's calling and calling and calling. We're trying to have everything transparent on everybody's app. So you know what you drop checked in, checked out, because some of the technologies that have tracking right now, you can see in the fencing technology, you see the, the dot on site. What if your truck sleeping in the truck? The trucker is sleeping in the truck. He hasn't checked in, actually. You think that he checked in because he's on site, but there is no proof that he's checked in. Maybe he's walking to the building to open the door that is five or six truckers in front of him. This is the only reason why we have delays in warehouses. We need to go to the actual root of that. If we expedite the check-in process, everything else comes along. So, so Eli, if you're not charging the warehouses for the solution, who? how do you guys make money? What's the business model here? Okay, for now, it's six ninety nine dollars one-time download. As much user we have, now it's going to be the, the key of the truck driver. So the more warehouse there are, at least in South Florida, Miami area, now you know that as a trucker in the United States, you can come down here. There is a chance that those warehouses will have trucker then, and you don't have to get off the truck. There will be a big sign, and then will be monthly. That's the way we're going to generate revenue. But 500,000 carriers or more in the United States, like 18,000 brokers, 3.5 million drivers in the United States. We're just trying to create momentum that everybody be conscious of COVID-19. Try to avoid the contact list and, and be more productive using an app. And it's very simple and very automated. So. Tutorial videos and everything is there, but it's pretty self-explanatory how to use it. It's very me. This is me. Click, click, and then you're there in the warehouse. It's simple. It's common sense. And then that's the most important, to try to expedite the process, the contact less, and the efficiency. This is the way we're going to make money. One time down low for now, but in the near future, as we grow, it will be a monthly, a monthly uh, benefit for you to have a key or something to check in everywhere. Got it. So, so Eli, when you think about this business that you built for your operations, and now you're uh, bringing on other customers to help solve their check-in processes, um, you funded this company internally through your own capital. Yeah. What is the plan? Is it to raise uh, capital uh, from investors? Yeah. What is the hope yes. for? Yes. But uh, we we think that that we really wanted to commit and get the ball rolling. So, yes, we want to raise money and currently are trying to look for investors, but uh, our other companies and us, me and my brother created this business and it's to exponentially be big, right? But we need to move. We need to get, prove the concept. We need to prove that it's simple, easy to use. The more users we have, the other um, user is going to be the DOT. We try to be touchless, contactless. So the transportation in the United States is governed by federal law. So they are allowed to stop your truck and revise, view, bill of lading, truck trailer, registration, everything, right? That's the DOT. This app, through this app, in the near future, as soon as I got more users, the DOT will have a, a login that type in the trailer or truck number 
we'll know where you're coming from. So we actually helping theft prevention because if I pick a lot here in Miami and it's supposed to go to Brooklyn, New York, what is this truck doing in Louisiana? It doesn't mean that he's doing something wrong. Why well, might as well stop him? So theft of $50,000 cargo or lower is a big problem everywhere. That happens a lot because when they found something, the police would do that. Check your truck and say, oh, your insurance, this is your truck, right? Unless it's a high value. But that's the real life of trucking. So the other benefit for brokers is that, hey, I, Eli, I send the load to Solar on Solar, your trucking company. How come ABC company, Greg is checking in? Are you double brokering my load? You see? So it's, you see transparency. You see actually who the driver that you assign to the load is with tracking. So there is no nothing to hide. Transparency, because I say, if you sign a rate confirmation, that's your contract. That's what you're going to get paid for. Just commit to it. You don't have nothing to hide. Yeah, it does. When you, when you think about the fact that it mitigates theft, I mean, an app in Miami related to freight. I mean, Miami, uh, the two places in the country that have a lot of cargo theft are Miami and yeah. Las Vegas are the, you know, two of the most prone areas in terms of cargo yeah. theft. Is that what inspired you to go develop this uh, particular application? That's true. Bro double brokering and the famous Chameleon Company. So they, somebody leaked the pickup number in your trucking company or somebody dispatcher, and they go with a truck with the same sign to the chipper or receiver, try to steal that load. Between you notice that somebody else checked in on that load, small mom and pop's warehouse already load your truck of garlic, his gun, when you call the police, it's already gone. Now, when you notice that it was a theft, when the actual carrier arrived to pick up with the same pickup. And then by that time, it's too late. And it would, because it's a lower value, they won't do in details. They will just give you a report. Hey, go file with your insurance. That's the reality of trucking. Yeah, Eli, I had that happen to me. I was in brokerage, uh, had a load that was booked on a load board. You know, obviously, the chameleon carriers you mentioned uh, was actually the, it was, it was just a mess because you don't, trying to manage that, the load ended up in a completely different state taken by a, a carrier that was, so it, it, as you mentioned, this is a pretty big deal. I mean, just the integrity, particularly of freight that's chosen off of load boards. Is that really the, the hope is that one of the large load board integrators will uh, carry a solution such as, as this? Yes, that's what we're trying to either uh, partnerships or anything. The goal is to have transparency in the business to help this United States of America. We're proof of the American dream. We're immigrants from Cuba. So we came in here, we did it the right way. We opened a trucking company, one truck, my brother driving, me dispatching. And then double job, double jobs all the way until we made it a 22 fleet truck. And this is what keep us rolling. Trucking is our life. This is, we live this, like lived it literally. Like you are in the line of trucks and you haven't passed the gate and you're gonna get paid a late fee because you quote unquote, you're late. When you were there an hour before, but it's a line of trucks in front of you that doesn't let you check in. Why? Why don't we use an app? Yeah, Eli, it strikes me that if you can get shippers to use this to pay attention, then there's a massive opportunity for you at Truckered In, but even more importantly, carriers will want such a solution because for them to collect attention, this is obviously very important to them. That's the goal, the goal. Attract the shippers for now free, but just conscious right now because COVID-19 it was happening before COVID-19 hit the United States. So now it became a solution. Why do you want to see a driver coming into your warehouse? How would you answer the question to a driver that says they don't want to pay? If they go to show up at a warehouse and they have to download the app, they have to pay for the app, yep. what, what would be your response to them to say if they said they yep. didn't want to pay for the app? Okay, so 7 million percent, I tell you that most of the fees are reimbursed for the trucking company. Any of my drivers that calls me, if you go to any produce market in the United States, they will charge you a gay fee. You tell the driver, hey, pay, I have a trucking company, pay, I reimburse you. 
right? But now, if you check about it, if this warehouse, because this is something that we plan, of course, if this warehouse says, right now I'm gonna give the priority to the people who checks in through Trucker then instead of walk in, check in, right? They have to download the app. It's the same that the warehouse saying, I want every truck driver to come in my facility with a security vest. The security vest is five, six, seven dollars everywhere. Let's say they need four low bars. You have only two. If you really want that shipment to check in in that warehouse, you have to buy it. Does the driver buy it? No, the company does it. So the answer to the, the driver is, it's reimbursable. Got right? it. I mean, Eli, I, it makes sense to me. I mean, I'm someone who pays the, I, I lived in Dallas, Fort Worth, and they built these toll roads that basically, if you drove on them, you could drive much faster. You didn't sit in traffic and they were priced based on the day. The convenience alone was worth it to me to pay three or $4 to drive on a, on a toll road to not sit in traffic. There's certainly a convenience factor here that's pretty important. That goes beyond the dollar uh, amount that you're referring to. Yeah, um, they will notice that convenient when they are up there with the snow and they have to walk half of a block back and forth to go to a chip and receiving office where you can be closing your truck, click, check in, waiting for a door. It now, means a lot. It now, means you, a lot. To minutes, it means a lot. Eli, how many warehouses in Miami are currently using the Trucker Den solution? Less than 50 right now, but we're convincing. We're convincing them to use more. Like right now, less than 50, and most of them are from our own brokerage division, that we just tell them to use it just for the tracking. They're not even convinced all the way to still use the paper, because this is another story from trucking industry. They don't want to go out of paper. It's something weird. They have a, a, a software who print a bill of lady give it to the driver for the signature, and they want the driver to scan it back or the company for payment. Why do you avoid the printing all the way? Why don't you just give it to the driver when it's completely legal? Plenty of big deals have been done electronically. So why do you have to print it to give it back to the driver and then come back and upload it back for a payment? That's something that we need to fix in the industry. Yeah, I applaud anybody who's bringing technology to solve paperwork because this is one of the largest industries that paper is still, you know, people have talked about the paperless office for, you know, decades, but we still live in an industry where paperwork is front and center to all of our lives. And it just seems that there's legal reasons for it, of course, but there seems that there's a lot of more efficiency that you can drive if you solve these problems systematically. Yeah, the Lumpers company of loaded receipt, the short pay is one of the most common cuts to the uh, truckers and drivers because you couldn't have a legible proof of delivery. Are you missing paper one of two? You see, it's everything. You know, I, I haven't received your payment because I need originals. Why? Because the second page is too blurry. Have you seen those little thin ones? Some warehouse has it. It's like an onion. It's very, doesn't matter how, how, how you scan it, it's always on blurry and you have to send the originals away. So it's 15 days for them to pay you, but when you call them, hey, what's up with my payment? What they say, I'm sorry, and you need the page 103, you got me 101 and 102, I leave 103. This is something that we need to stop already. How many times they load you with the wrong bill of lading, they load the wrong load, and if you're not checking constantly, as soon as your driver checks in or gets the load, send me the bill of lady making sure that you got loaded. That's that's a problem that we need to fix. Trucker then is trying to expedite the shipping process. How? The check-in process cut it completely. One click, you're checked in. What do you need from me as a driver? So Eli, a lot of venture capitalists watch this show specifically to learn about the type of investments that are out there in freight tech. Uh, what would your pitch be to a venture capitalist that may be tuning in? Contactless. No more phone calls to check in. And it's efficiency. The simplicity of trucker thing is down to earth, expediting the check-in process. So it is something that worth to pay attention. It's an awesome product because of the problem that is solved. But sometimes, or oh, that's why we have a patent pending idea on the system, 
because the drivers in the United States are out of touch completely. The industry with the drivers, that's what I mean. That's why we could patent pending that idea. So to the investor, it's a patent pending idea will expedite the shipping process, the checking process. He can check in from the comfort of his truck and everybody gets notification, no more calls. We're just trying to be more contactless and paperless and efficiently. It's really the best business. It's the best business to be in, like trying to simplify any problem obstacles that are in the system. Yeah, Eli, I think you're solving a big problem. I certainly hope that the uh, distribution, the warehouses out there can take advantage of it. It seems like it would solve a lot of inefficiencies in their business. Um, and I think, to your point, if you get the warehouses signed up, then hopefully the drivers okay. will see the advantage of not having to stand in line and wait their turn. Yeah, you really, you really, as a driver, you really know what is waiting on line. When well, you're really tired, <laughs> you just got to that warehouse, it's 2 a.m., and you're still outside because COVID-19, you have to wait on the warehouse with the snow on top of you. This is what trucks are. This is Eli, the hard time is money. Let's not forget that we're not that's talking it. just about that's waiting. It. That's it. That's it's it. It's money. The time that you spend in the warehouse checking in is the time that that same warehouse is spending to start pulling out the product back on the warehouse, meaning more time, 20, 30, an hour and a half. You should have been gone already. You should have been loaded already because most of the warehouse, they actually pull the product when you are checked in. So you, you're the broker and the carrier. You say, hey, your driver's checked in. Of course, he's there. I see him in the tracking. Is he? No, he's still outside the gate. He still need to pass, park, come to the shipping or receiving office respectively, and they will give him a form with a pen that he has to fill up himself, truck, trailer number, everything that you're putting in the app for one click. So checking in with one click, everything has to be expedited. The time that you were spending in the warehouse, you should be loaded already and resting in the, in the rest area. So it's everything comes along, but we need to go to the root. The check-in process is broken or hasn't been updated. If we go in and cut that, you can check in up to 20, 30 drivers every three, five minutes. Literally, like it's one click. What do you need? I'm telling you that you have the wrong pick a number. And I have to say, hey, you need another pick a number starting with one, two, three, instead of five, six, seven. But if, if yours is right, it's one click, you're checked in. Now, Eli, this sounds like a no-brainer. What can a warehouse operations folks person do? Do they just go to a website and sign up, and all of a sudden Trucker they're good to go? Truckerden.com, right-hand corner. It says warehouse login. You go there, create free account, become star, geofencing technology start, and then just tell the carrier or broker that you're doing business as a warehouse too. Hey, have the driver have already the app set up before he checks in, put a big sign, say we're giving priority to, to trucker then check in online, and life is gonna be, it will help with the traffic in the warehouse and the liability. How about this guy sleeps on the floor and I have to pay for him, right? He's on the truck, now you can allocate your warehouse traffic, say this lot over here is gonna be just for truckers to park and check in, that's it. Now, Eli, we're going to, when we, in the future, hopefully, when I go to warehouses to visit either in video or doing a, a show, I want to see, like, I, when I walk into a restaurant and I see the MasterCard, Visa, American Express bug, I want to see Truckered In, because I know that that warehouse is thinking about efficiency, which is the most important thing. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, Eli, thank you for coming on today. If you want to reach out to Trucker Den and Eli, you can do that on his website. Eli, is LinkedIn also a great way to reach you? Yes, absolutely. LinkedIn, uh, the website, and everything is online. You just put Trucker Den, and it's, the tutorials are right there. I got this customer that also asked me, yeah, but I, it's not actually free because I have to spend time uh, learning from it. And I say, you know what? I haven't heard of nobody really teaching his employees to use Facebook or any other app account 
apps are meant to be user-friendly and something like non-brainer. Tutorials are on the side, uh, video tutorials in YouTube and everything, so you can do it. But it's such a simple stuff that really nobody gets trained to post a video in, in, in Facebook, right? They wouldn't do it for trucker thing. It's an app. It's supposed to be user-friendly and very uh, easy to use. If they spend a couple of hours learning how to use it, it can save them days of work. No, I have this warehouse. I have this warehouse that actually, let's say, hey, can you create that account for me? And I have a driver account. I just, I didn't even explain how to use it. He was in the screen and I click check in and my name, my truck, my trailer, my pickup number pops up on the screen. And they say, what would you do there? I didn't even tell him, what would you do? Let me click it here because it's common sense. When you click in my name, my picture comes along, my ID comes along, my trucking company comes along, my phone number comes along, my tractor trailer with pictures, and anything that you actually need in the check-in process is in one click, in one app. So uh, it stays there forever. So two months, three months, forever. So, you know, I want to know about this driver that hit the fence. You just go to that pick a number, you see the picture of the guy? So you've got a record that they can go back and look at it in the future of who was in their lot and who wasn't. Imagine that trucking companies that have dropped lots could also use your solution. Yeah, yeah, as soon as they check in, the, the broker and the, and the carrier get the tracking, the notification, so you don't have to call the, the, the driver anymore to know if he's checked in, if he gets the door, if he's leaving the facility, what time he left, you don't have to pay nobody to call a carrier anymore. You can produce more calling to make more money, not to control the driver, because all the check calls is going to be automated in your phone. Eli, I, I think what you're doing is ingenious. I think it's fun. Solving time, making things efficient, and doing it. Uh, you seem like you're very passionate about what you guys are doing Thank at Truck It In. And as a founder to a founder, I applaud you.